A couple days ago, I got a comment on my review of Battle Truck, thanking me for reminding them the name of a movie they've been looking for. The Glitter Ball from 1977 is a children's movie, but it is also British. So you know what that means, people? Hit my fucking music. Everybody go home, apart from the girl that you have said. Walk in the club with the girl say hey. Tell a man like I'm paid to the A. There's no champagne, we don't break. Yeah, I'm the best. I'm so cocky. Ah, back in British country. Glitter Bowl is a 1977 science fiction family film directed by... That will never stop being funny. Never. The guy's real name is Cokeless, and he corrected the spelling to Cockless for his directing career. Fucking hilarious. Our movie begins with a siren going off at a Air Force base as they chase a UFO. Changing course right 90 degrees. That's impossible. What the heck's going on? Control, I've lost him. He just disappeared off my screen. We get a good look at our alien spaceship, the much smaller alien inside, and more importantly, a good look at the Special effects bonanza we have ahead of us. Glitterball goes into the nearby house, eats a bunch of their food, they think they have a mouse, Glitterball destroys the mouse trap, so the kid in the family goes to buy a rat trap where he runs into his friend that tells him there's this creepy guy named Filthy who's stealing from the store. Look at that, will you? What's he taking that for? Because he's a thief. But I'm going to tell someone. I daren't. Why? Why are you so afraid of him? Well, I turned him in once and he swore he'd get me if he saw me again. Filthy becomes our main bad guy as he tries to steal the alien. He's a compulsive thief. That's just kind of what he does. And we get tons and tons of special effects. Everything from simple reverse shots to stop motion to time lapse and some of them are actually really incredible. Saving those two. Hey! They eat so much custard. Where does it put it all? Other than a few shots of the military driving a van around, that's pretty much the plot. At the end, we get a big fight where poor Glitter Ball is being kicked around. But his Glitter Ball buddies come to save him. Uh, I really 
like this one. It's very short, 46 minutes long. It was made for basically no money by a non-profit children's organization. And it has special effects that I liked. I'm sure, oh, when I made that when I was in 7th grade, I took film class. Well, I know jack all about making movies. So I liked it. I thought that the stop motion and time lapse stuff was really cool. You can do it when you were five years old. Good for fucking you. I liked it. I thought the acting was fine. The kids didn't really act much more. But I had some established adults in the movie that still act. This movie was made by a non-profit and given away to school children. It was rediscovered in 2010 after being forgotten for decades by the Edinburgh Film Festival as part of a retrospective of forgotten films. It was in their pamphlet described as an early version of E.T., which you can clearly see the similarities of a young boy finding an alien who's trying to get back to its home planet while being chased by military personnel. As for the cast in this one, neither of the child actors went on to make acting their career. One only did three total films, the other one did about a dozen TV shows, but you can't say the same for the adults. I didn't show them a lot in the clips, tried to make this review kind of short, but the mother is played by Marjorie Yates. She was in Doctors and Shameless recently in Still Acts. The dad was in Doctors and Midsummer Murders and acted right up until his death in 2012. Ron Pember, who played Filthy, had a hundred movie roles and acted right up until 1992 when he suddenly stopped, and there was a store manager, played by Frank Mills, who had 154 movie roles and acted until he was 80. As for the crew, this movie was written and directed by Harvey Cocklis. Do not tell me it's pronounced Cocklis. I don't need that sort of negativity in my life. The special effects were done by Barry Leith, who only worked on this in the children's series The Wombles, and Brian Johnson, who did, you know, minor films like 2001 A Space Odyssey, Star Wars, and Alien. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review, and as always, I shall try to do better next time. Thank you to Jedi Gecko for uh, the comment on my battle truck video that made me look this one up. Bonus this time is a little bit of information. The bad guy's van It is a old TV detector van called a Dodge Space Van. And they would drive it around town and would be able to tell if a house had a working television or not. Because in the UK, you need to pay like $200 for your TV to get television. And if you weren't on the list of paying them, they would bust down your door and fine you. Or probably write you a letter, but I like to think they would bust down your door. Also, this little prop is really cool.